Hello everyone, Marky Joe 1990 here, and welcome back to The Tick. Where we last left off, we were about to face off against the Idea Men. Uh... Yeah. These are the Idea Men. Uh, at first, uh, similar to the ninjas, we're only gonna see two types of Idea Men, but as it progresses, we're gonna see more of them. I don't, uh... Also, they also follow the HP patterns that the other ones have. One takes a single punch combo, the other takes a single kick combo, and all that jazz. Uh, I'm kind of not even letting them attack me, so you probably won't be able to see what- Oh, wait, what the hell? Okay, so I guess we do get to th see the third kind of idea men already. Uh, these guys, they use a the flamethrower, I think. Oh, damn. They're pro I don't consider them as uh, difficult as the Black Ninjas, though. <laughs> Gotta love how they use their uh, flamethrower as a shield. Uh, but yeah, what is there to say? I think these guys actually showed up in the first episode of The Tick. Which is odd that they're showing up after the ninjas, because, you know, first enemy in the series, you'd you'd expect them to be, like, the first enemy in the game, or something like that. I don't know. This game is all sorts of weird. Ooh! Floating mailbox. We meet again! Let us combine our powers to conquer evil! By which I mean you sit over there while I do all the work. Yeah, this is a very helpful mailbox, as you can see. Come on, buddy. Get over here. It's not as easy to lure these idea men into the floating mailbox because they have projectiles, all of them do, and as such, they're not gonna come up close to you and attack, usually. <laughs> I'm ping-ponging them. Alright, let's take our good old buddy and take him on an awesome adventure. Oh man. There's a sewer here. I wonder who's in it! Oh man, it's that dude. Who I now remember the name of, by the way. His name's Urchin. And like, in one of the episodes of The Tick, he actually has his own theme song. And it's like, Urchin! Urchin! Something like that. It was really funny. The Tick was funny in general. Gotta love how that floating mailbox is doing absolutely nothing useful. Okay, I take back my words that I have just said that I didn't even finish before he freaking got, well, one of those freaking idea men got mauled by it. And watch as another one does, except not, because Urchin got out of the way. Um, something you've probably noticed about the, the idea men is that they don't drop their weapons immediately after being hit. You actually have to get a combo in first. And now I have to wait. Till I get hit. Come on. Hit me. Or I'll just do that. Okay. Oh yeah, this is American Maid. She's kind of like the ninja dude in the sense that she can do the infinite, but she can't do it as well. So therefore she is not as cool and thus inferior. However, her strong attack is really fast. There's like no startup on it whatsoever. There's a lot of cooldown time, but doesn't matter. Come on. There we go. It also does a lot of damage. Jesus. This woman knows how to fight. She's also one of the few competent characters in the tech. Uh... Neural. Speaking of competent characters, where's that, like, mouse dude? Oh, I got hurt! This is terrible. Oh wow, that guy is pretty damn aggressive once he starts attacking. This is bad, this is bad. Okay, we're good. We beat the level. Thankfully it wasn't that long. We're up to like four, four minutes or something. Ooh, yay, another rooftop stage. And as you can see, they're exactly like the ninja versions, except in these versions they have different weapons that function exactly the same. So let's fall down here and hope that God damn it! I want to fight somebody else. Oh well, I'll just 
beat this guy as quickly as I can. Be right back. Kick, 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 kick. Spoon! That was incredibly easy. Alright, next time I fall down there, I want to get the fucking running guy. It's like him and the chainsaw dude. At least I- wait, did, did I already get the chainsaw dude? I don't even know. Oh, how little I know. Woe is me. Damn, I'm doing a good job dodging everything. Then again, I'm just jumping randomly, so I, I guess that works for anything, really. <laughs> Leapfrog jumpy. I am a leapfrog, oh yes, I got hit by a bullet! And I just fell down that slope for no reason. Let's fall down again. Damn it, stop giving me this freaking Russian dude! I am not interested in the freaking heavy weapons guy. Boink, 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 boink! You're down, good. Ugh, oh, stupidity. When you face him as an actual boss, you can't do that on him. You have to beat him without combos. Which is a sad day. Ah! Oh! Yes! Finally! Freaking running guy. This is probably the hardest guy to beat when you're in this area. And you can probably already see why. He's incredibly fast. Thankfully, I know a little trick that's not working. Come on, buddy. There we go. Damn it. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm getting my ass kicked by him. Pwah! There's no way to avoid him, like, vertically. He'll... He's, like, perfectly accurate. So you kind of have to, like, jump over him, almost. No... Ah, damn it. Alright, come on, buddy. Ah, oh, damn it. You don't actually fight this guy in the main game. So, the only way you're gonna be facing him is this way. And he's probably the hardest boss in the game. Along with the, like, psycho ninja dude. Alright. Bunny hop doo doo. I'm gonna do a ballerina dance, yeah! And oh, fall! Oh, hey, it's uh, it's Chainsaw Man. Time to fight you as well. I still don't remember if I've actually faced this guy before in the LP, but he's extremely easy. Just use hit and run tactics. He is amusing though. If he attacks you, he'll pretend to saw you in half, which is funny because it doesn't actually do anything. He's just doing it to be a douche. See? <laughs> Absolutely no damage whatsoever. Alright, four more hits and he should be down. God, I am way too fast for this dude. Are you down yet? Nope. Six hits. Seven. Alright, seven hits it takes with the jump kick. This guy is a pansy. It's kind of annoying how you can't combo certain bosses. There's really no reason for it. Yeah! I got hit to the top floor. And I got hit by a rocket. Hooray! Alright, let's not get hit by the rocket. Instead, let's get hit by... Not a bullet! Damn it! Didn't mean to fall down. Oh, hi, Clark! I didn't know you wanted a third rematch. I win. Why is he even a boss? Like, really? There's no reason for him to be a boss. He's just there for the hell of it. At least with the other guys, you can understand why they want to fight you, because they're bad guys, but Clark's not really a bad guy. Alright, let's see what's next. Ooh. Oh, Spoon. <laughs> Alright. Can I throw people off? Yes, I can. And I shall proceed to do that. There we go. Come on, buddy. Don't be shy, I just want to kick you off. There we go. 
Oh, he's a good boy puppy! Oh, whoa, whoa, I don't want to fall off the stage. Almost fell off. There we go! Come on, don't run around me. You are a face! So yeah, these guys rarely ever attack, as you can see, which is why they're incredibly easy. Now, I do believe there is a boss that's going to show up here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, though. So thank God this is like a small stage. Oh, you just popped up out of nowhere, dude. Come on. Come on, let me grab you. Me want to grab you to death. Where is the boss? I don't know where the hell is he. Come on, fall down, everybody. There you are, bossy. All right, this guy's incredibly easy. I win. I, be I went through that whole stage without dying. <laughs> without getting hit, I mean. Oh, wow, there's still more? Eh, you know what? I'll call this a day. Thank you for watching. Marky Joe 1990 signing out.